What do you think um, should be done here? Of course, the victim families want consecutive sentences. They want her to be eligible for parole after 30 years rather than 15. Your thoughts? Uh, you know, I... Uh proud of that attorney. I actually have an office in Cuyahoga County. I know who that person is. Um, he's a good attorney. Um, I think the best, the best and most emotional defense of uh, the defendant at this point, because we're in the sentencing phase, was her mom. Her mom actually explained what was behind the TikTok, because before her mom came up, I, uh, pretty sure like anybody else, was offended by the TikTok posts. Uh, because they were clearly uh, after the accident. They were within three months after the accident. So I was shocked, you know, that she, I said, I thought to myself, well, she has had no remorse. Her mom came up and explained those posts. And then I thought to myself, okay, there is always a, a second side to the story I didn't, I didn't understand. And then her attorney talking about the possibility of recidivism, recidivism and that it's low with uh, his client, that also swayed me because at the end of the day, uh, you're supposed to correct someone's behavior. These two people lost their lives. He was correct. She's going to get flopped at least once. So even if she se she se serves these sentences consecutively, you know, concurrently, she's still going to be in jail for at least 20 years. And to get out within 20 years, she has to prove to the parole board that she's a good person. Um, so I was convinced and swayed by the uh, oration of her mom and her defense attorney that in my opinion it should be a concurrent sentence you know where she serves the 15 years at the same time because she's she's going to be in there for at least 20 years at least with good behavior she'll be out in 20 years um this happened when she was 17. this is sad this is awful um you know and, and one more thing i'll say ted you know when i was young I'm sure like anybody else, I got behind the wheel. I got in cars with other people. Now when I look back at it, I don't know if I'll be comfortable seeing my kids get in, get in the car with other kids because I got in the car with other kids and they drove like madmen, right? And they drove and they weaved in and out of traffic and we were young and I didn't understand, I didn't appreciate the 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 you know the danger of it at the time nobody would do that right now if i was in the car with somebody right now i've got my seatbelt on they've got their seatbelt on they're obeying traffic signals but i'm a 44 year old man when i was 17 my friends were 17 we were weaving in and out of traffic i still don't know how we're alive um we're just lucky uh that doesn't mean that it, she drove into a brick wall at 100 miles an hour i was never involved in that obviously but i know people who were you know, and they survived. Uh, kids do dumb things. She did a really dumb thing and people died. Uh, and I've, I've been swayed by, by these two people, by the mom of the defense attorney, that she should serve these sentences concurrently.